Hello, this is John once again. I am adding a new segment to my videos. They relate to the actors, producers, directors, and all who help create the venues that entertain us all. I hope you will support, comment, and maybe click the like button. It's time to celebrate one of our own from the entertainment world. They lived to entertain us. This is the first in these segments. This is John Ritter. He was born Jonathan Southworth Ritter on September 17, 1948 at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center in Burbank, California. Ritter had a birth defect known as columboma in his right eye. His father, Tex Ritter, was a singing cowboy and matinee star, and his mother, Dorothy Fay, was an actress. His older brother, Tom, was born with cerebral palsy. John helped raise money to fight this disease. Ritter attended Hollywood High School, where he was student body president. He attended the University of Southern California and majored in psychology, with plans to have a career in politics. He later changed his major to theater arts and attended the USC School of Dramatic Arts. While still in college, Ritter traveled to the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, and West Germany to perform in plays. Ritter graduated in 1970. He made appearances on the television series Hawaii Five-O, MASH, and many others. He had a reoccurring role as the Reverend Matthew Fordwick on the drama series The Waltons from October 1972 to December 1976 when he left for a starring role in the hit sitcom Three's Company, the Americanized version of the 1970s British television series Man About the House in 1977. During the run of Three's Company, Ritter appeared in the film Hero at Large, Americathon, and they all laughed. In 1986, he played the role of Dad in the music video for Graham Nash's song, Innocent Eyes, from the album of the same name. John was nominated for both an Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award for his work on Hooperman. Ritter won a People's Choice Award for this role. From 1971 to 2006, he acted in many film roles, but most notably in 1971, in his film debut, The Barefoot Executive, where he played Roger. And in 1975, he played in The Prisoner of Second Avenue, where his role was the elevator passenger, and he was uncredited. And in 1980, he was in Hero at Large, and played the role of Steve Nichols. And in 2004, in Clifford's really big movie, Clifford the Big Red Dog, voice posthumously released, dedicated in memory. And in television from 1967 to 2003, where in 1967, he was a contestant on The Dating Game. He was bachelor number three. The letter of bachelor number three, who's a college student, majoring in drama, John Ritter. John, good afternoon to you. Okay, number three, if we were to be married, what type of an unusual wedding could you dream of? We would drain out Lake Michigan and have butterscotch ripple dropped from airplanes on our heads. <laughs> Sandy, which one? Bachelor number three. Number three! <laughs> I've already mentioned some of his roles in television, but let me add a few more. In 1976, he was in Kojak, played the role of Kenny Somes in the episode Deliver Us From Evil. Same year, he was in The Bob Newhart Show. He played Dave in the episode Sorry, Wrong Mother. And in 1975, in one of my favorites, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, where he played Reverend Chatfield in the episode Ted's Wedding. Fast forwarding down to 1977 till 1984, he played in Three's Company as Jack Tripper in the lead role 
of 174 episodes. Also in 1986, Life with Lucy. He played himself in an episode called Lucy Makes a Hit with John Ritter. And let's not forget, in 1997 through 2004, he was also in King of the Hill. He played Eugene Grandy. He was the voice in four episodes. And his final role in 2002 through 2003 in the show Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. He played Paul Hennessy. Lead role, 31 episodes. Eight Simple Rules was filmed in stages 6 and 7 on Disney's lot. When on September 11th, 2003, Ritter was rehearsing when he suddenly fell ill, sweating and complaining of chest pains. He was then taken across the street to Providence St. Joseph Medical Center at 6 p.m. He was initially treated for a heart attack. His condition quickly worsened, later diagnosed with aortic dissection but was pronounced dead at 10.48 p.m. He was then taken to Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills. A private funeral for Ritter was held in Los Angeles on September 15, 2003. Don Knotts called Ritter the greatest physical comedian on the planet. Katie Segal calling Ritter a funny man who was funny like nobody's business. His Three's Company co-star, Joyce DeWitt, remarked he was impossible to forget, impossible not to love. Shortly before his death, Ritter had done a week-long taping with Hollywood Squares, which was aired as a tribute to him, introduced by Henry Winkler, the executive producer of the show and a very close friend of Ritter's. Winkler recalls speaking to John, and any conversation with John was wrapped around his children, adding that he and his wife Amy were a stellar team who acted like two sides of a whole. Suzanne Summers said John and her made friends again just a month before his death. In 2004, Ritter was posthumously given an Emmy nomination for playing Paul Hennessy in Eight Simple Rules but lost to Kelsey Grammer for playing the title character of Frasier. Upon accepting his trophy, Grammer's remarks included comments made in tribute and remembrance of Ritter. He was also nominated four times in Primetime Emmys and won it in 1984 for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series, Three's Company. Nominated for five Golden Globes winning in 1984 for Best Actor in a Musical Comedy. Nominated in the 1997 Screen Actors Guild Awards for Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture. On June 6, 2008, Hollywood High School dedicated a mural of Ritter painted by Eloy Torres. And I'll see you in the next one.